Okay, it's time for a little update on this 944 that we're gonna put this here six liter V8 in. Um, being that this is a, a later motor, it has throttle by wire, which I really didn't want to run, but I've been doing a lot of searching online and can't seem to find a way of deleting that. It seems the, the later computers like this are very different than the, uh, you know, like 2000 to 2007 type computers where you could have throttle by wire or throttle by cable. So this is a E38 engine computer and I don't know if we can do anything about throttle by wire versus throttle by cable on it. Also, I mean I really want to um, you know before I even put it in the car I want to set it up and run it just to be sure everything works and the engine is good so if there's something wrong with the engine I can take it back because it's under warranty right now so anyway but so in the wiring harness you have this main cable bundle that comes down here and a few rather large connectors which I'm not quite sure where they go yet this one I don't I don't know where that goes I'll figure that one out but this one plugs into the computer I'm not sure what plugs into that side probably some kind of body control module or something so we'll have to figure that out also to run the throttle by wire we're gonna have to get the TAC modules, what they call it, T-A-C, and that's what the, uh, the throttle by wire gas pedal plugs into, and assuming it probably ends up in the other side of this plug in the body harness somewhere, so we'll get to figure that out before we can fire it up, so that'll be fun. Uh, the next thing is we seem to have what is probably bad torque tube bearing so what I just did was uh, went in and uncoupled the drive shaft from the transaxle in the back so I could spin it and let's roll under here and show you what we got so this, I can move it that far, and I can feel it contact that front bearing and that far on this side. So the front bearing, there's four bearings in this tube. The front one is not in contact with the drive shaft. I mean, it spins nice and free and stuff, but. It's, um, there's something wrong with that front bearing there. Probably can't see it, but there's actually space between the shaft and the inner race of the bearing, which is, I don't know if I can uh, illustrate it with holding the flashlight at the same time, but basically that's how far it goes. You can hear that clunk. That's it hitting the side of the bearing or the inner race of the bearing. So, unfortunately, for that to come out, that doesn't just come out. <laughs> it's in the middle of the car. It's about seven feet long. <laughs> so, First thing that has to happen is the transaxle has to come out. Then the rear suspension, which houses the uh, torsion bars, has to come out. Then you can unbolt the, the little cross members along the tunnel area and drop the whole thing out. Oh, and by the way, the uh, 
the shifter is also attached to that. That's why it's sunk down. So you got to pop the covers off and uh, get in there and unbolt the uh, shifter linkage from the torque tube also. So yeah. So that means while we have it out, we might as well take the transaxle and take it to someone to uh, have a look inside it, make sure everything's good, put any kind of strengthening stuff in it we might need, and hopefully even if we got enough money, put a limited slip in it. And on the torsion bars, well if we have the rear suspension out, it's, you know, we're going to change the rear torsion bars. Probably put 26 or 27 millimeter torsion bars in it since uh, it has 24s and this car has been it's really kind of wallowy in the back right now so that'll stiffen it up a bit and we're, we're going to put a 19 millimeter rear sway bar on it. So yeah, so unfortunately we won't be getting to this anytime soon. We've got to deal with all that. <laughs> 